What is going on guys? We are back for episode number 30 of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Avatar Lock. As you can see, we are here on Route 206. We are getting our final team member. Uh, yeah, we need to get this Gibble. And as, and this is one of the perks of being the Fire Nation, right? So I have to get this Gibble. Uh, I'm a little concerned. Um, so basically what I've looked up to this point is the plan is to lead with Mai because Mai has the uh, amazing move um, of what's it called Nightshade. Now there is a catch to it um, and the catch is that Gibble needs to have at level 15 a minimum of 11 in its IV stat to be able to live a hit on 1 HP. If it doesn't, then we are basically just... Nope. Then we are basically just hoping and praying... Uh... What's my best way through here? My best way through here? Okay. So, again, like I said, a Gibble, if you are level 15, you need to have 11 IVs. You're level 16. Perfect. Okay, so at level 16... You will have 44 IVs. Guaranteed it's a female. Nightshade does the amount of damage as what your level is. So it does 43. Even at zero IVs, this thing lives on one. Perfect. Now, what does a level 15 Gibble have for a moveset? I don't think I have anything that I can go for. However, I can throw this Pokeball. We will get this little Cynthia and we will be perfect. Yep, and we catch the Gibble. Uh, Cynthia is added to the squad, uh, although it will not be called Cynthia because we still need our female names. And where did my list of names go? Where did that run off to? That is an important list. Ah, I have found it. I have found my important list. And obviously we have the team slot open. Gibble is on the team. We need a female. And I can't think of a better name than Azula. Uh, yeah, Azula. Because that is the strongest of the female trainers here that are available. Um, yeah, I mean, there was another female. There was not another female to choose from. And so I figured this was just the best one to go with. So we have a Zula, we have a Zulon. So we have basically our team figured out here. Um, so now that we have a Zula added to the team, uh, that is a perfect opportunity here. So let's check out Azula here. Azula actually had a little bit of HP, it lived on three. Which means that it lived on three. It had 46 HP. Which means that it has a minimum of nine IVs in HP. And I guess I can find this out relatively soon here. Ooh, so you had 46. So you were between nine IVs and 15 IVs. Okay. Uh, you're actually in neutral nature. Interesting with 27 attack. So you have at best, this is a zero attack IV Pokemon. That sucks. Uh, defense wise, 23, that's actually quite strong. Yeah, so you have a minimum of 23 IVs in, de in defense. Special attack at 20, I think that's going to be fairly low. 
Yeah, so at least 14. Special defense at 23 as well. I feel like... Yeah, so this thing actually has, at minimum, fairly decent. 22 speed is also fairly good as well. So this thing has at least 23 uh, IVs in all defenses and speed. And then had 14 at minimum in special attack and 0 in an attack. So that's kind of kind of rough but i think regardless as a guard chomp that's not gonna matter it didn't have any moves that could actually stop us as well which is kind of nice to see uh but i basically can get moves for this right away and so now that we have our gibble i can kind of chill out a little bit zula you need a move set though and so let us figure out what we can give you um i know that i wanted to have I think I wanted to have Flamethrower as like a substitute move that I can kind of give as like a special alternate. So I'm going to get rid of Tackle for that so you can get Flamethrower. Flamethrower covers our times four ice weakness. Uh, I also wanted to give you... <sighs> Was I thinking Swords Dance? No, I can't run Swords Dance on its own yet. Wow, I don't have... I don't have Bulldoze. I thought I did. I guess I didn't buy it. But we can get Earthquake in here regardless. And so I'm not overly worried about it. But that is perfect. We have our Gibble here. That was a big part of this series. Was that I could function without needing to have overly impressive Pokemon. Oh, wait. I messed that up. Hold up a mini. A Grip Claw, that's pretty good. Oh my god. Alright, get down here. Get up here. Thank you. Oh yes. A Revive there. Uh, I need to be able to just jump through that again. So we need to be able to just... Nope. Alright, we got through that. That's another cave. Okay, get through here. Perfect. There should be something over here for me. In the form of Earthquake. Yes. And that is going to be absolutely sick. Now, we only have one Earthquake. Uh, I'm going to use the escape rope right here. We don't need it anymore. Thank you. We'll get out of here. And then I have Earthquake to teach to... Azula. Now, I know that I wanted to teach Azula on it as well. But it's fine. We will keep... Yeah, we'll, we'll do this. We'll get rid of Sandtune for Earthquake. That covers that off nicely. Um... I think I'm going to want Dragon Claw. I think Flamethrower is probably fine. I wanted to have a mixed move pool. And so we'll do this. I'll get uh, Dragon Claw whenever I can get it. And then basically now we need to just run back. Go to... Yeah, Ma, you did your thing. Uh, we now need to get a Zulon evolved. And so the next course of action here is to fly to... Yeah, because we still need to go to the Ironworks. Or whatever it's called. Uh, and then... Add Gibble. Add Gibble. Gibble, 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 Gibble. Uh... No. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, I need to go to the library. Right, 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 right. I need to go to the library. Uh, I did buy some healing items as well, so we do have those at our disposal. Uh, let's get rid of that screen. Let's move up here. Hey, Jason, over here this way. Sure. Okay, Gramps. I brought you nation, like I said, and now I'm out of here. What? Wait, he's just gonna leave? 
then he comes back. Why did he just... What? You may have already forgotten, but I studied the evolution of Pokemon. The more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. There are some Pokemon that evolve and others that don't. What makes them different from each other? Do immature ones evolve into ones that are more mature? If so, what makes... What make of the legendary Pokemon that we don't evolve? We are to assume that the legendary Pokemon of Sinnoh are complete as creatures. This is where you three come in. It is said to be a mysterious Pokemon in each of the three lakes of Sinnoh. If we can obtain data on them, I may shed light into how the process of Pokemon evolution works. I need help from each one of you in this grand undertaking. Help me find these mysterious Pokemon. What are you saying? I didn't get a Pokedex. And who was it that bolted from the lab before I had a chance to give them one? But that's water under the bridge. Seeing Pokemon with you with your own eyes is important for you to become a better trainer too. You can count on me. I will do. Oh, you can count on me. I will do. I will. I will help with this Pokedex too. Donation, you will go too, won't you? Hmm. I would have made all of you go regardless. Now then, there are three lakes. Fortunately, there are three of you. You should be able to set up and investigate the lakes individually. Don, you will go to Lake Verity. Very well. Barry, I want you to investigate Lake Akerty. That would take you almost to Snowpoint City. The road there is harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. Uh, yeah, of course, Gramps. You know how you know how you call it. And that leaves your nation with Lake Valor. The lake is between Vilestone and Pastoria, if memory serves. Has it stopped? Are all of you unharmed? Let's go outside. Let's be careful. Concerned for the city. Earthquake! Azula, you gotta stop causing earthquakes up in here. But, uh, yeah, I mean... Hello. Whoa, that tremor! That wasn't a natural occurrence. Hey, hey! Old dude and kid, some big, some big just happened. They're saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor. Kaboom! Like that. He just comes up and tells us, Gramps, I'm going to the lake. I have a bad feeling about this. Hmm, that berry can't sit still. Jason, I'm worried about Lake Valor. However, I have no idea what is taking place. You must find out. But before you go, I can't stress this enough. Don't get in over your head. We'll try to join you as soon as we expect Lake Verity. So, let me get this straight. There's a big explosion that you're super worried about, but... You don't want to go until you explore the other one that you don't that nothing's really happening at. Okay, I see you. I mean, we're gonna take a moment as well because we're not going there either, but you know, that's besides the point. Okay, so we need to get a Zulon leveled up here so that it can be become a glorious Drapion. Uh, but we need to go down to hello, bye bye. Nope, not you. We need to go down here. Uh, the only thing really valuable over here for us anyways is going to be a magnet that we can give to Roku. Or not Roku, that we can give to uh, uh, Iroh. But uh, other than that, there really isn't too much that we need here. Obviously, we can't get an encounter. Uh, it's all Zubats and Geodudes, which are both not possible choices for us. Um, and so really the plan is going to just be we're gonna run through knock up the trainers and go from there uh, ooh, Team Galactic is on TV uh, Nope, never mind. They're not on TV at all, but this is a spot to heal so I will gladly take the opportunity To do so oh never mind. I can't just kidding. I lied. Oh I found a max either though. Cool sick. Love to see it uh, Okay, so let's get into this cave and of course, there isn't really much we can catch, so I'm just going to start with Super Repels. Unfortunately, I couldn't buy Hyper Repels, or uh, Max Repels, my bad, Hyper Repels, what is wrong with me? Uh, I couldn't find any Max Repels, so we're just waiting on that. Oh, there's an item there too, hold up. I think Team Galactic is in here as well. Not 100% sure. Super Repel. Nice. Love to see it. We'll just kind of cruise through here, though, and see where it takes us. 
Nothing over here, item-wise. Hello. Hello. I'll have a battle with you, no problem. No problem. Picnicker Summer. Sends out a Staravia, and that is not good for um, a Zulon here early on. Now, we do have the rare candy, so the moment that we get to level 39, we will be set to go. So we're gonna switch to Iro. And I believe uh, Gibble's gonna get a ton of experience early on, just sort of kind of like um, Hapini did before it evolved into the full woman that she is today. Um, but, you use the one Pokemon? You have two. I'm gonna Volt Switch. Because then I can switch back into a Zulon. Yeah. Switch back into a Zulon. We'll be fine. We're good to go. Yes, please. Yeah, 600 experience. Not quite a level. Okay, so it's gonna be less experience than what, uh... Than a Hapini got, but that's fine. A Cherim comes out. That should be something that I can just handle with a Zulon. Poison jab here. Okay. The only question I still have left for a Zulon is whether I want to actually teach Cross Poison when we eventually get it, or I mean, do, wait, we do get Cross Poison, right? But whether I want to have the double high crit chance or whether I just want to have the PP usage of Poison Jab. That's kind of going to be the biggest question for me. Azula gets level 17. Azumi's level 45. Um, I believe this Gibble is going to take quite a long time. I don't even think we're going to be able to really use it. It's going to just kind of... We're just going to kind of show up with one. Super late as I think is what's going to happen more, more than likely. Oh, I missed the item down there. What is wrong with me? Why did I not check these things? All right, let's head back. I should also check the other way because I feel like if there's stairs there, that that's the right way. And I don't quite want to do that just yet. So another escape rope so we can get out of there. Let's run back here though real quick. I'm so terrified of it going the right way. Wait, both of these paths have stuff. Why do both of these paths have stuff? Okay. But it seems like a more linear path. Oh yeah, that's just, that's just by itself. Okay, nice. So we'll get this item here. Camper Lawrence sends out two Pokemon. You have a Luxio to start. Okay. See, this is like just rocking with Gibble, but... It was a little bit too low level still to be trying to handle a Luxio. Uh, we're just going to go to Iroh ourselves and just absolutely teach this thing what true power is. Iroh, come on out. Daddy's here, bitch. <laughs> okay. Uh, Spark, uh, we're going to resist that and have the Intimidate back us up there. Uh, and let me just bite you. Yeah, that just knocks out. And so... Azul level 18. Love to see it. We should be getting Bulldoze. Uh, I mean, we have Earthquake. Um, I think I'm okay with Sand Attack, honestly. I don't need Bulldoze because I have Earthquake. And a Stunky comes out. Okay. Well, I think I'm free to just spark and knock out. Yeah, okay. Don't worry about that. Just keep doing our thing. Okay. And I believe it's like 35 when Gibble evolves. Like, it, it's a minute. So, ooh, yes. War off. Use another one. Please be the magnet. Iron ball. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll keep rolling. Okay, so the other way was the right way, so let's go down that way then. We have all the things we need. 
I don't think we'll be able to get through all of here in today's episode, but um, we can definitely get a good portion of the way down. Hello. Hello. What way is the right way? Hello. Let me just pick up these items, please. Iron Tail. Um, not something we can really use. Wait, fight me, bro. Fight me, bro! Okay. Brayden. Sounds out a grabbler. Uh, okay, Zulon, you're not staying in on that either. Although I really don't have an answer for these, to be honest, just yet. So scary, because I need to, like, actually prep them. Like, Azula is my best answer for it. Whenever I can get that going. Uh, okay, so Azumi, you're probably my switch right now. And it's probably gonna have to just be Echo Voice. Yeah, it goes for Sandstorm. Okay. Which is gonna raise a special defense, right? Damn. Uh, okay, so if that's the case... I'm gonna echo voice. Yeah, I'm gonna echo voice. By the time that you get powered up, I'm gonna get powered up. And so I think we should be able to be okay. Although this is very, very scary because rollout, you have to prep as if they're gonna hit five. Okay. So I know that we knock out with our next echo voice. And we go first. So I think we're okay. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Knock you out. Yeah, we really need Garchomp for this reason. To be able to switch into a ground type is like gonna be like unbelievable. <laughs> it's gonna be unreal. Okay, so what else is over here? Not a damn thing. Oh, never mind. A ball of iron. I'll take that. Okay, so that was a dead end. So let's go this way. And then what I think we'll do is we'll just wrap up today's episode right here. Uh, so thanks everyone for watching. Click like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you really liked it. And I will see you guys in the next one.